Set. Go! Congratulations! You did a great job today! Select the stop. Use your saw to cut the parts for the boat. Now hammer the sides, bottom, and benches together. Use your drill to make a hole in the center bench for the mast and portholes on the sides. Knock that mast into the hole you drilled with the rubber mallet. You'll need to use the screwdriver to connect the rudder to the back of the boat. Sand the sides nice and smooth so it will go fast through the water. Choose a color to paint your project. Every pirate ship needs a good coat of paint. Use your sprayer for this. Congratulations! You just finished a new project. It's so good, we'll place it in front of the store. If you want to print a picture of your finished project, select the printer at the bottom of the screen. Select one. Select the stock. Use your hacksaw to cut out the runners from this piece of metal. Now, use the acetylene torch to weld the runners to the body. Knock the nose cone into place using the rubber mallet. Bolt the propellers on nice and tight with the power wrench. Use the screwdriver to connect the windshield to the helicopter. Choose a color to paint your project. You'll need the paint sprayer to decorate your helicopter. Great job! If you want to print a picture of your finished project, select the printer at the bottom of the screen. Select one. Select the style. Shape the body of the car with your plane. Cut out the stabilizer with your saw. Use the drill to make holes for the wheel axles. Knock the wheels on the axles using the rubber mallet. Choose a color to paint. Use the paint sprayer to paint your new car. Congratulations! You just finished a new project. It's so good, we'll place it in front of the store. If you want to print a picture of your finished project, select the printer at the bottom of the screen. Select Select the style. Use the hacksaw to cut out the body parts and two axles for the truck. Now use the rubber mallet to pound on the axles. Use the screwdriver to attach the dumper to its hinges. Bolt the wheels in place with the power wrench. 
Choose a color to paint. Be careful to give the truck a good coat of paint with the sprayer. Congratulations! You just finished a new project. It's so good, we'll place it in front of the store. If you want to print a picture of your finished project, select the printer at the bottom of the screen. Select one of the projects by pressing the Tonka Joe button. Select. Use your saw to cut out the wings, body parts, and cross ties. Now, use the screwdriver to connect the wings and the cross ties to the body. Knock the wheels onto the landing gear using the rubber mallet. You'll need the power wrench to bolt the propeller on nice and tight. Choose a color to use the paint sprayer to decorate your plane. Excellent! If you want to print a picture of your finished project, select the printer at the bottom of the screen. Select one. Select the styled. Use your drill to make holes for the legs. Knock the upper legs into the holes. Use the power wrench to bolt the lower legs to the upper legs. You need the screwdriver to attach the claws to the arms. Weld the head to the body with the acetylene torch. Now let's put a nice shine on the robot's shell with the buffing cloth. Nice work! If you want to print a picture of your finished project, select the printer at the bottom of the screen. Select one. Knock the chest piece into place with the rubber mallet. We'll need the acetylene torch to weld the rockets in place. Use your hacksaw to cut out the wings. Screw the wings on with the screwdriver. Use the power wrench to bolt the head dome in place. Use the buffing cloth to give the dome a nice shine. Great job! If you want to print a picture of your finished project, select the printer at the bottom of the screen. Select the style. Since you're so good with tools, you can do the building while I read the directions. To stop working on your project, press the Tonka Joe button on your workbench. Use the rubber mallet to pound the top of the robot onto the bottom. Next, use your drill to make a hole for the robot's head. Use the rubber mallet to pound the robot's head into place. Now, use the socket wrench to attach the construction tools to his arms. Weld the plow onto the chassis with the acetylene torch. Use the mallet to knock the treads on. Choose a color to paint your project. Finish your robot with a fresh coat of paint. Excellent! If you want to print a picture of your finished project, select the printer at the bottom of the screen. Select the style. 
Use your drill to make holes for the solar panel supports. Now use the rubber mallet to pound in the supports. Use the saw to cut out two solar panels. You'll need the socket wrench to bolt the panels to the supports. Use the soldering iron to connect the wires from the solar panels to the satellite. Seal the access door using your screwdriver and then screw on the rocket funnel. Hey, you're pretty good. If you want to print a picture of your finished project, select the printer at the bottom of the screen. Select. Use your hacksaw to cut out the saucer, fins, and legs. Pound the saucer into shape with the rubber mallet. We'll need the acetylene torch to weld the wings and legs in place. Connect the bottom disc to the saucer with the screwdriver. Way to go! If you want to print a picture of your finished project, select the printer at the bottom of the screen. Select one of the projects. Are you sure you've got to go? Use a tool to select the thumbs up for OK or the thumbs down for no way. Choose credits to see who made Tonka Workshop. When you did a great job today. I couldn't have done it all without you. See you next time.